it's time for another reading. Hello, heart and soul. I see you. I'm here for you. I will not leave you. I'm listening. Come inside. Come be with me. Here you will find the calm you seek. Put all your other sources down and source inside. I came into this world hearing the messages of my heart and soul, fully intertwined with spirit. I could hear what my heart was saying until I couldn't. The world got noisy as it does for all of us. I don't remember when or how it happened. It was subtle. That slow smothering of self in service of the rules, the opinions of others, and the ways of ordinary life. What was once confidently clear and open became confusing, constricted, conflicted. But my heart and soul never left me. No matter what walls I constructed or how I kept her fiercely guarded, she continually and gently whispered and on occasion ached in my body for attention. For years, instead of listening to my soul, heart, or body, I let my head take the lead. Years of heartbreaking moments and relationships made it convenient to escape into my brain, my intellect, my mindset, and my cognitive capacity. And still, my soul, heart, and body waited patiently. They knew. They trusted me to get lost. They knew that getting lost would be the path to genuinely coming home to myself. They knew that learning to trust myself would cause me to completely and wholly meet myself so that I could fully be myself with an open and unburdened heart. That's not chap. It's in chapter one or in the first section of my book, Unarmored, Finding Home in the Wild Edges of Being Human.